Welcome back to the channel, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can add different items to your cart, and when you go to view the cart and proceed to checkout, you should be able to see your country of origin, you should have a city, then you should have something like a state which is the district here, and we're going to have another drop down which is going to convert this village or town into something that we can select on our own checkout page. Now there are two plugins that I've realized that can help you to do this. I know in a video that I have done before, I've showed you how to code this, but there are actually two plugins that do this very well except they have their own limitations. Now those two plugins are one, WCCT, select byte 8 manos, and then the other is state cities and places for WooCommerce by Kingsley or Chu. Now I'm going to download both of these plugins and you're going to see how they work. So let's start off with either of them, I'll just copy this name, state cities and places, I'll go into my admin dashboard, and then I'll go to plugins and click add new, and then I'll quickly search for this, I'll install it, and as it's installing I'll just get this other name WCCT select, and I'm going to go into my plugins right here, and I'm also going to look for it, and it's this one by 8 manus, so what I'm going to do is also install it, and then we'll be able to use it. Now I'll activate the WCCT select first, and when I activate it we shall be able to see a city select, and then we shall also have a drop down, for the different cities, so when I come here, we have Uganda here, I'm going to select a district, I can choose a beam, and I don't have anything extra, but this particular plugin gives you the options of you using the hooks and filters that are available for you to be able to extend what we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this filter, and I'm going to use it in a plugin that I'm going to add on, so you have the option to either add it in the functions.php or throw this in a custom plugin. So what I'm going to do is open up my editor, I'm going to open up my file here, and then I'm going to open a new folder and I'll call it states and cities, states and cities for WooCommerce, and then I'll drop this in my editor, and I'll open a new file and call it also states and cities for WooCommerce.php, I'll hit enter and then we'll have this available for now. I'll open my file with the PHP tag, and then I'll use the start plugin shortcut that I always use to help me with my plugins, so I'll add in the name, and I'll say this is states and cities for WooCommerce, I'll change the plugin link, and I'll just add my github account, github slash itt, take it press, slash stats and cities for, for WooCommerce, I'll change the plugin author and just add my name, take it press, and then I'll say this adds a third level, city to state, and then we'll have the version which is that, and then I'll just add this as a GPL to for later, and then we can always just use this right here as our preferred or our prefix plugin name. So after doing that, I'll add basic security to this and say defined, so we're going to look for the abs path, if the abs path is defined, we shall go ahead and run the plugin, or we are just going to die and say please get proper access. So I'll save that and then we shall start writing our plugin, I'll go back to this, I'll copy this, and then I'm going to come back in here and I'll paste it. Now this is a custom filter that is tied to the WCCTs, and what I'm going to do is just use this function, and I'm going to add those cities inside the WooCommerce, so 
the country that I want to work with is Uganda, and I'll need to add in the UG for the country code. If you want to see these country codes, if you go to WooCommerce and then you're going to the internationalizations folder and then going to states, you'll be able to see the different countries that are there and then you'll be able to see like Angola is AO and so on and so on. So you have all the different country codes available for you in here and this is how the different states are added. So I'll look for UG here and then you're going to see that we have the different cities here and we have the codes that are attached to my country. So I'm going to look for a BIM and I'm going to copy this code. So we have UG in there, I'm going to add this right here and I'm going to say in a BIM we have let's say a city called Sakodi and then we have another that we're going to call maybe Blue Tag and then I'll just look for another location, I'll look for Kampala which is the easiest for me, it's the city, so I'm going to get Kampala, so Kampala will be my state and then in Kampala I know I have Nakawa and then I know I'm going to have Machinde, Machinde in there, so I'll save this and all I'm going to do is now go back to the plugins right here, I'll reload and then I'll have states for cities for WooCommerce and then I'm going to activate it. When I come back to the checkout and reload, you're going to see that before we had a field that needed to be filled right here and now it has become a drop down. So when I select a beam, you'll see that we have Sakodi and we also have blue tag. So easy, if I go to Kampala, if I look for Kampala, you're going to see that now the options available are Nakawa and Match India, which I added through this particular extension of the code. So it's so easy, you use one plugin and then you can use it and then make your own filter and make sure that this is working. Of course you can use the same code inside your functions.php. Now let's comment this out so that we can see the other plugin which works sort of in a similar way. So let me go back right here in the plugins, I'm going to deactivate the WCCT select and let's check the states, cities and places for WooCommerce. Now this particular plugin is a little bit different in that it already has supported countries so you need to check if your country is supported right here, then you'll be able to use that accordingly. So what I'm going to do is let me pick Australia from this, so in my checkout I'm going to have Australia and after picking Australia I'll look for the state, the state I'm going to go for Queensland and you'll see that now we have suburb showing up right here and I can select a suburb and say I'm going to be in Brisbane. So this particular plugin is supported by contributors and people who share their particular countries and all the states that are associated with them. However, it also has its own hooks like adding states and places. So let me go and see what filter hooks they have for us. I'll click on this and you'll see that we are advised that if we want to add a state, we can either disable the state that is available or we can actually add some fresh states into the different countries that we have. If you want to add your location you can support this plugin by going to the plugin repository on GitHub and you will add your new country and you can add more details. My biggest preference is just using this because it makes it so easy for me. Now I'm going to make a couple of modifications to my plugin so that when we don't have this plugin that we are dependent on, we get a little notice here that tells us that we need to have a particular plugin installed and that plugin is WCCT select so that we don't have our customer or our user confused about what's going on. So let me go back into my code and then we can begin working with that. When we come back here we'll use an add action and the hook that we want to use is going to be plugins loaded, so we're trying to get this that when the plugins are loaded we are going to run this particular function and the function we'll be running is going to be checking whether we have WCT available inside our plugin. So we're going to check 
for WC City select active. So I'll copy this function name and then I'll start the function right here. And in here we're going to just say if and what I'll do is I'm going to look for a particular class that is run through when we start this particular plugin. Now I'm going to just open the files of this plugin so that we can see what kind of function we can tap into. So I'll add this here and I'm going to look in the file right here and we're going to see that this plugin already checks whether we have WooCommerce which is a good part and it has this particular class called WCCT select so I'm going to check for it and we see that it is always activated here as a global. So we can either check for this global or we can actually check for this class to see if it is actually active. So I'll copy that class name and I'm going to say if not class exists so we're going to say if this class does not exist then we're going to actually make our notice available. So we shall have add action and this is all part of WordPress so we're going to set admin notices and in here we're going to add another function that's going to trigger the admin notices for the WC city active. We'll say notice WC city select activate and this will be the name of our function. So I'll copy this and I'm going to start another function. The reason why I'm doing this is I could write all the code under this if statement but sometimes you want to be able to either test your plugin and breaking it into granular functions makes that easy or it makes it easy to read your code. So what I'm going to do in here is produce an admin notice. So I'm going to first save this. What we want to do in this particular case is we want to print a message. We're going to output a formatted string so we're going to use print if and in here we'll add our quotes and we're going to say we want to have a div and that div is going to have a class and it's going to have a number of classes from WordPress like error then it will have notice dash error, it will have notice then it will have is dismissible and this is dismissible allows us to have that little x and then we can always close this out whenever the user clicks that x button. So we also need to close this div and inside this div we are going to add a very small piece of code that will allow us to extend this and also allow our plugin to be translatable into different languages. So first I'll add its HTML, it's going to be a paragraph and then we are going to add this percentage sign and the letter S and after we do that this will give us an opportunity to add the message that we want to pass as this percentage S here. This message here as a variable will be replaced in this particular section so that's why we have it as s percentage sign or the modulus s right here. So now I'm going to write the message here. Now in here we're going to have the sprint if which is going to return a formatted string and in here we're going to add our translatable string so I'll first add this underscores, there are two underscores that will allow us to translate the string we're going to have in here and this is the message that we shall pass. The message we shall pass is say states and cities, states and cities for WooCommerce requires WC city select plugin to be active. Then after doing that I'm going to add a comma here and then I'll look for our text domain from here. I'm going to pick it, copy it and then I'll add it here. Let me maximize my space. Now you'll see that we have the string here that's going to be our message and then we are translating it right here which is actually good. 
Now if I save this and then come back to our page and reload, you're going to see that now we have this little error message with our X button to show that it is dismissible, and all we are saying is this particular plugin that we have activated and written requires to have this particular plugin that's deactivated. Now in the case that this particular plugin had not been installed, we can attach an installation link right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add an A tag for this here. I'll add a href and in here I'll also add the modulus and the S right here and I'm going to close off this A tag right here. Now this will allow us have the same opportunity like we did have down here. Now in this particular case I'm going to add a comma here and then I'm going to add the string that links to the particular plugin that we want to have installed. So I'm going to copy this right here and then I'm going to paste it here. When I save this and come back here, reload, you're going to see that this is actually linkable and if I click on it, you'll be able to see that the plugin that we are talking about is this very one. So I'll hit the back button and then we shall be able to see that this is active, so I'm going to deactivate this and you'll see that message is not there. When I activate this, we have our message here. If I activate our WCCT, you'll see that that message actually goes and if I deactivate this, there's no message, activate, no message, which works very well. If I deactivate this, you'll see that we have that message coming back up. So that is one easy way that you can improve the way your plugins work and the way that your customers and the people using your sites as administrators can actively get involved in having the site maintained and also not breaking it. So if this is something that you enjoyed learning and it's something new, please let me know in the comment section that this is the kind of stuff you'd want to learn and find out how to use WordPress more, especially its core functionality. And then I'll be able to do more of this inside the tutorial so that you can pick it up and you can start writing professional plugins so that you can make some market and sell from them. So now the only thing that's left is for us to get our code right here. I'm going to uncomment this out. And what I'm going to do is just get this add filter with the function that it calls and I'm going to place it under here and say if the class does not exist, add this message and then return. So that will stop the plugin from continuing. But if the class exists, it's sort of like writing the else and then putting everything in here. Oh, you don't need to write the else because this return helps us to break the plugin if this does not work. But if this particular class exists, then it's going to go ahead and then make a call to this particular filter and this filter will call this particular name. So I'm going to just modify this by adding a prefix so that we don't have issues. So I'll add take you press my cities and then what I'm going to do in here is go back, reload this to see that nothing is breaking, I'll activate the WCCT select and I will deactivate the old plugin that was helping us to add more cities and when I come to our checkout and reload here, you'll see that in Uganda we'll have this open, we'll need to select a district which is a beam, and then we shall have our Sakodi and our blue tag available, just like we had it here inside our particular plugin. So I hope to see you making more plugins and submitting them to the plugin repo, because these are some of the small things that you can do to improve your experience. Otherwise don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video if it was good for you, enjoy your day.